Hey guys, Sarah from americantrucks.com and today we have the Z-Roads lighting kit with two 3-inch LED cube lights and lower grill mounting brackets for 2018 and newer Ford F-150s. All right, so this kit is perfect for those of you who want to add some lighting to the front of your F-150 easily. It requires no drilling and as you can see, allows you to retain your fog lights. This kit is truly plug and play down to the wiring harness. As long as you have some power and ground, you should be good to go. Okay, so the cube lights included in this kit produce 6,000K white light, 3,200 lumens, and will last for 50,000 hours, as you can imagine, easily outlasting the life of your truck. They also have the highest rating for electrical components against dust and water, making them a great investment for the front of your truck. This kit comes in at the $260 range, and for this, you are getting a direct bolt-up kit with the wiring harness, so this is truly gonna be plug and play. Uh, perfect for those of you who are looking to get some lighting on the front of your truck with ease. Now, one thing I do want to note is that our model is the STX, meaning you're going to get this opening in the front of the bumper. Some of you might not like the look of this, but for those of you who'd like to get a kit on your truck relatively easily, this is going to be the one for you. Install is going to come in at one hour, and I'm giving it two out of three wrenches because it will require a little bit of wiring. The tools needed for this install are a 3 8 drive ratchet, 10 millimeter socket, 11 millimeter socket, 13 millimeter socket, 3 8 socket, a skinny 10 millimeter wrench, a regular 10 millimeter wrench, and some optional tools are a flathead screwdriver, trim removal tool, and a 3 8 drive impact gun. Alright guys, so the first step in our install is to remove this lower grill area, which you can do with a trim removal tool, or you can use a flathead screwdriver, just be careful not to scratch it. Uh, we're going to remove these two pieces first because it makes removing this lower grill a little bit easier. So we're just going to come in here behind this with our pin removal tool and pop this out. All right, so we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Take our trim removal tool and pop it right behind here and it's off. Okay, so once we have these two pieces out, it's a lot easier to get the center section out. You can pull it right here or you can go behind through this way. I like this better so you don't break anything and just push out while you pry. There you go. All right guys, so once we have the lower grill uninstalled from our truck, we're gonna go ahead and install the lights onto the brackets. You can do this on the truck itself, do it in the reverse, brackets first and then lights, but I think it's a little easier to do it on a table here and then install the brackets on the truck. So first, you're gonna route the little wiring harness through the bracket and put your light in like this. Now a nut has to go down through these heat louvers, so this is the easiest way, I think, to do it. You're gonna want your washer on the end of your bolt. Push that right in the side here, on the outside of the bracket. And then your nut is gonna slide right in between this opening on the louvers. And it might take a little bit of maneuvering, but you can get it on the end of the bolt. All right, so once we have this side hand tight, we're gonna wanna go ahead and do the other side, same way. Washer on the end of the bolt, through the side of the light, and drop the nut right in there. Might have to fish it around a little, but it should get started. Okay, so once those are both hand tight, we want to make sure the light is seated in the bracket properly. And then we can get our 10 millimeter and our skinny 10 millimeter and get on both of these uh, nut and bolt and go ahead and snug them up like that. Okay, once we're done, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. Keep the wiring harness in there, your light right here. All right, and again, we're gonna leave that hand tight for now for adjustability. Go ahead and get your hardware on the other side.
All right, so now they're both hand tight. We're just double checking that it's seated properly in this bracket. And we're gonna go ahead and use our skinny 10 millimeter and our regular 10 millimeter and tighten this right up. All right, now that we have the lights and brackets prepped, we're gonna go ahead and grab this piece and insert it back into our lower grill. This is gonna help us line up the bracket because it does contour to the end of this. Okay, the first thing, we're gonna feed our wiring harness pigtail into the bumper. We're gonna get this lined up right here. If you are scared of scratching your paint because it does touch the bumper, feel free to put a little bit of painter's tape above and below. We're just gonna go ahead and be careful. Okay, now we're gonna take the provided hardware, this little L bracket, and we're gonna put it right onto this stud right here. We wanna make sure that the bracket hooks through the bottom of the bumper, because that's how it attaches to the front of the truck. And we have another one for the top one right here. Once those are on, you're gonna grab the two nylon nuts and thread them on the end. And we're gonna go ahead and grab the second nut and thread it on the end as well. Okay, so we're gonna take our deep 3 8 socket and tighten these lock nuts. And go ahead and do the same thing for the bottom one. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and pop this cover into the other side of the lower bumper. And grab our bracket. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and feed the pigtail through the bumper, line up our bracket against our cover and grab the included L brackets like we did with the other side and put them on. Again, we wanna make sure the bracket goes underneath the bumper so it's secured nice and tight. Same thing with the top. And once we do that, grab the included nuts and thread them on the top and bottom. We're gonna take our 3 8 deep socket and put on our hardware. All right, so now that we have our lights and brackets mounted, we're gonna move on to the wiring. D-Roads has included a wiring harness for us that makes it fairly simple. We have the plug and play connectors that go to the bottom of each light. They've included a relay, they've included positive and negative terminals, and even a switch that can go right into the cabin for you to make it fairly simple. Okay, so we're gonna connect our wiring harness to the light pigtails. And you'll know they're in when they've made that click. And then we're gonna run this up through the engine bay and tuck it up nicely. And we're gonna head up top so we can start to wire it in. All right, so the first and very important step is disconnecting the battery for safety. We're gonna grab a 10 millimeter socket and disconnect the negative terminal of the battery. Okay, now that that's out of the way, we're gonna grab the wiring harness and pull it up through the engine bay. Now you can run this any which way that you like for your truck. I'm gonna run it behind the battery because we're gonna hook the positive and negative straight to the battery, um, but they've left you quite a bit of room. You can do this however you feel is best for your truck.
So next we're gonna go ahead and pull this rubber back off the positive terminal. I'm gonna go to this nut here, and this is an 11 millimeter. Okay, now we're gonna reconnect the negative terminal on our battery. And next up, we're gonna connect the ground for our light. All right, so now we're gonna take our wiring harness and we're gonna route it from the other side of the engine bay. Now this relay you can pretty much mount wherever you'd like in your truck. I'm gonna probably say around somewhere around this area for us. And we're gonna take the end of our wiring harness and the switch and mount it in the driver's compartment directly through this firewall. All right, so we're gonna reach up on this opposite side of the firewall and pull the switch and wiring harness through. Okay, now that we have it through, I recommend mounting it somewhere in this area, wherever you like, wherever is most comfortable for you. I'd say right about here. And that way, you can turn the switch on and off as you need to use your lighting. All right, that's going to do it for the install and review of our Z-Roads lighting kit. Make sure you keep it at americantrucks.com for all things F-150.